Hello dear learners, in today's video we are going to see about the cement industry, automobile industry, information technology and electronic industry under the chapter manufacturing industries. Let's get started. First one, the cement industry. Cement is indispensable for building and construction work and it is considered to be an important infrastructure core industry. So in a developing country like India, cement industry plays a significant role in the overall economic growth. It is used in the construction of building houses, factories, bridges, roads, airports, dams and for other commercial establishment. The manufacturing of cement requires the bulky and heavy raw materials like limestone, silica, alumina and gypsum. Here the limestone is the main raw material and it comprises 60 to 65 percentage of the total product. Hence the location of a cement plant is based on the limestone deposits. Apart from rail transportation, coal and electric power are also required for this manufacturing of cement. Power is essential for grinding the raw materials and coal it is used as a fuel and also to burn the limestone. The industry has strategically located plants in Gujarat which is a suitable access to the market in the Gulf countries. The first cement plant was set up in Chennai in 1904. After the independence, the industry expanded. There is a large demand within the country. It is also uh, created a readily available market in East Asia, Middle Asia, Africa and South Asia as it has the improvement in the quality. This industry is doing well in terms of production as well as export. So here to sustain the industry, efforts are made to generate adequate domestic demand and supply. Next we'll see about the automobile industry. Automobile industry. It is divided into two broad segments that is one is the passengers and goods. So it produces almost all sort of vehicles including trucks, buses, cars, motorcycles, scooters, three wheelers and multi utility vehicles at various centers. We will see some of the impacts of liberalization on automobile industry. The coming in of new and contemporary models which stimulate the demands for vehicles in the market. This facilitate the healthy growth of the market and moreover the foreign direct investment brought in new technology and aligned the industry with global developments. Information technology and electronics industry. So it is an industry which consists of two major components one is the IT services and next one is the BPO that is business processes outsourcing. The software technology park provides a single window service and high data communication facility to the experts, the software experts. The electronics industry covers a wide range of products from transistor sets to television, telephones, cellular telecom, telephone exchange, radars, computers and many other equipment required by the telecommunication industry. Bengaluru has emerged as the electronic capital of India. Other important centers for electronic goods are Mumbai, Delhi, Hyderabad, Pune, Chennai, Kolkata, Lucknow and Coimbatore. The major industry concentration is at Bengaluru, Noida, Mumbai, Chennai, Hyderabad and Pune. A major impact of this industry has been on employment generation. It is encouraging to know that 30% of the people employed in this sector are women. This industry has been a major foreign exchange earner in the last two or three years because of its fast growing business processes outsourcing sector. Here the continuous growth in the hardware and software is a key to the success of IT industry in India. Yes dear learners in this video we saw about the cement industry, automobile industry and the information technology and electronics industry in detail. In the next video we will be seeing about the industrial pollution and environmental degradation. Thank you learners.